Good morning. Thank you once again for allowing me this pulpit to preach the word. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you for this occasion to be able to be used for as your instrument to speak forth your words. I ask that you anoint my lips, that your words will internalize in the hearts of those who hear. I also ask that you anoint Sister Titzer as she interprets your words. And may your purpose be fulfilled and your will be done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, as the story goes, one night there were four college students. They went out to party until late night and did not study for the test which was scheduled for the next day. So in the morning, they think of a plan. And they make themselves very dirty with the grease and the dirt. Then they went to the dean and said they had gone out for a wedding the night before. And on the way back, the tire of the car burst. So they have got to push the car all the way back. So therefore, they did not have time to study and in no condition to take the test. Then the dean taught for a minute and said they can take the test after three days. So they thank him and said that they'll be ready by then. So on the third day, they appeared before the dean. And the dean said that since this is a special condition test, all four of them are required to sit in separate classrooms for the test. So they all agreed because they are well prepared for this test and no need to copy one another. So they all agreed because they are well prepared for this test and no need so the test consists of only two questions. Special condition test. So First question is your name. One point. Second question. Which car tire bus? So it's front left, front right, back left, back left. Right, right. <laughs> so relax. One minute of anger weakens our immune system for five hours. So we want to be strong. One minute of laughter strengthens the immune system for 24 hours. 
So Pastor Esther, laugh every day. You will be strong and healthy. Okay, well, coming back to the word. Okay, we encounter changes in life every day. Some changes can rub against our flesh because you know we don't like it, but some are very easy going. So when great changes come in my own flesh, you know, either I cannot accept the change, and I think most of us can't accept big changes. Because we prefer, you know, doing things the same every day. And sometimes we just cannot adapt to the change, even though the change may be for our own good. But if the change is in the will of God, even if we cannot do it, God can help us do it. So whenever I feel to accept changes in life, God always encourages me with his small, still voice. Yeah, and, and he would say, um, uh, PowerPoint slide. Yeah, this is what he will, he will tell me. Perceiver, I have put you here, and do you think I do not have a purpose for you? Do you think I will see you for? So we don't like changes, but God sees a bigger plan for us than we can see. And he would develop us through this process. So today I want to share with you this developmental path. And the title of my message is The Growing Seed. Taken from Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 29. Uh, yeah? we, can, we can just read. So, Jabaro uh, Twebi Solo Shay, Nasachagani, Nasako T. Maku Kanji Lane, Nasachan, Nasako Payao. ทบาตบาลูดีเลนไนมิวสิกเจปิมะนาวตะแพนมิมิมะจีมะแมะญะเนไอเลนโนเลนเนตอเลอปิ่นปาวยุยจีปวาติเนปะยาตะคินอีน
ตัวเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ย
Nothing happened. Cucumber seeds just don't grow. Then one day, after taking some lime, I put the fresh lime seeds into the flower pot. And it took almost a month for the germination process to take place. Then I begin to see small little leaves begin to surface. And when you see, it's actually a joy, right? Because you did not know what had happened in the soil, which is unseen. And then suddenly you see life coming out as the leaves sprout out. So these lime seeds had a desire to grow. And there are times when I walk past some bungalows with external boundary walls. You all may probably have seen, you know, those, those high walls, you know, surrounding the bungalow. So the bungalow is not a bungalow. Then I see some creepers begin to climb up the concrete walls. And before you know it, some months pass, then you walk past again, then the whole wall is covered by the creepers. So and then at times when I walk on the concrete slabs, you know, along the pathway, I would see weeds sprouting out in between the concrete slabs. You see, the concrete surface of the ground and the wall is not the most ideal place for the comfort of the creepers or the weeds, you know, to grow. So the and yet we see life. So therefore, seeds contains life when in the right biological condition, like having water, soil, sunlight, and most importantly, is the desire to grow. So at so it is not the external environment that matters because uh, flowers can grow in a rose garden, beautiful, right? But it can also grow in a jungle environment. So the seed will eventually come out of the soil, though we think that it is lost and buried under the soil, but it will still find its way because it has a desire to grow. So same as our spiritual life, we can have nice environment to be in, we are being fed with the word, but if we have no desire to grow in the Lord, then nothing will happen. The germination process may be slow, but it does not mean that we are not growing. But 
when we have a will to grow, when we have a will to draw near to God, we will be able to do it. Tomorrow, her solution is to give a payout, payout, can't do when we are to give a jitwatch and a solution, not to give a jitwalam up today. You know, many a times we are tempted to say, uh, we make no progress in our Christian life. Uh, you know, after so many years, still the same. We cannot, like, pastor like that, uh, talk holy, holy. You know, we cannot be like mature Christian, pray. But when we go to the beach and we look at the tides coming in, does it come in in one minute? I mean, unless there's a tsunami, right? Otherwise, uh, you know, when you see the tide, the tide doesn't come in in one minute. Tomorrow, but it advanced, it slowly advanced, and probably in an hour, you know, or so, then you suddenly lost the beach, the beach is covered. So, the so it is not the time, but it is the desire. So like little children, you know, when we give them the word of God every day, you know, sometimes when your own children or other children, when you see them playing at the playground, then you may be thinking, you know, when whatever you shed to them, you know, have it been taken roots in their life? Once I was trying to talk to a three-year-old child of my friend about Jesus. She did not want to go into the room alone, and I told her, don't be afraid, Jesus is with you. And for a three-year-old, she responded, where, where? But one year later, one day, you know, in a... In a telephone conversation, she was telling me her parents had gone out. So I asked her, then you are alone at home and who is looking after you? And her response was, Never mind, Jesus is with me. And it up yan tire. Oh say ma pune, the key su nane to si de look yore. So it is as in our own spiritual life, we do not immediately transform into the character of Christ as soon as we receive our salvation. Tomorrow get in sing or ja be an ewe the key su ye uh ye tin a go in like an area touch him up or labene. But the Holy Spirit germinating the seed in our lives and we grow daily in strength and in faith. And so activities in church such as uh, care cell, care group teaching, Christian education, uh, miracle moments, prayer meeting, pastor sermons, uh, are all that will help to water the seed in us. So, we have to say that 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 You know, the farmer cannot tell in what manner the seed grows or what was the cause and the method of its growth. Um, 
So only when we see it spring out of the soil, then we know that it is growing. If it didn't come off the soil, we wouldn't know that it is growing. So the same as us, when, when others see that we are growing in the Lord, it's through our external behavior, our external character, our love of Christ that's being displayed in us. So we know that the Spirit of the Lord makes that change in our heart and we know that it is germinating inside. Just like blowing of the wind, right? We can hear the wind, we can, we can, we can feel it, but we do not know where it comes from. Uh, the, when you know, let me tell you the story of a bamboo tree. You know bamboo tree? So once, um, this, this Chinese farmer, you know, who was struggling to provide for himself and his family, and he was so poor that he has got nothing of value but a chicken, but unfortunately, this chicken doesn't lay eggs. So one day he decided to go out of, to go to the market and decided to trade his only chicken with some seeds to plant in his farm. So at the market, he came across an old man who had an interest in the chicken in exchange for a few tiny beige-colored seeds. So the uh, and this old man assured him that all his worries will be over upon planting the seeds and watering them every day. The old man said, these seeds will ultimately provide you with all that you need to sustain yourself and your family for the rest of your days. The farmer, a little bit skeptical over what this old man said, but he has got no choice, right, isn't it? So he went back home, he got the seeds, and then and he started planting it. He put the seeds into the soil. He spent days carrying water from the river to where he had planted the seeds and watered them. He continued this process for weeks and months. And nothing happened. All other crops that neighbors have all begin to grow, but this bamboo seeds refuse to grow. One whole year went by, the farmer spent every day watering the seeds, yet no sign of growth, no sign of life. So 
But the farmer, being very patient, you know, I waited one month, uh, if you don't have, uh, I will just change. <laughs> but this, this farmer, very patient, keeping faith, continue to water the seeds every day. Then eventually people in the town began to, to hear about this strange farmer who is planting these strange seeds and nothing had happened. So they began to laugh at him and mock at him and calling him crazy. So just give up la you have been watering these plants for three years nothing had happened to you 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 are being cheated by the old man and la so so can I ba but the farmer ignored him. And, but don't ask me how he survived through all these days. Uh. <laughs> but the farmer ignored him. And five years passed, nothing mm. seen. So by this time, you know, the farmer began to be very despondent and he said that I will water the seeds one more time and, and decided that enough is enough. And but the next day, the whole town was awakened by the screaming of this farmer. So they gathered to see what this crazy farmer doing. And when they gathered, they can see that the seed that the farmer had planted, green sprouts came out. Short ones, small ones. Five years, nothing happened. And now the bamboo tree finally growing. And do you know that in the next six weeks, the bamboo tree grew to 90 feet high. So you can see that we think nothing is happening, but the bamboo tree is strengthening itself underneath the soil, germinating, and when it grew, it grew strong. At 90 feet, it will topple right, but bamboo trees do not topple. So and all these bamboos ultimately become the source of supply for this farmer and just like the old man said, right, you know, he had been provided for for the rest of his life. So our lives are likened to the seeds. So it depends on what seed, right? Like my cucumber seed, then no good. Lah, huh? So tomorrow, yeah, that da hal, and you say get up today. Upa ma chuma ye, to kwa di you say lo mu wa long wa ma ka hong. You know, God has scattered us in His kingdom. We are to grow for His glory. And if we don't grow, then we know what happened. We will just wilt away, you see. So it is our inner desire to wanting to grow, to be like the bamboo tree. So that when we sprout out, we are sprouting out for the whole world to see. So the solution. And 
Whether we are sprouting out like the bean sprout, bean sprout, no need, no need five years, right? Bean sprout, two days, you see already, right? Uh, or the lime tree, lime seeds, which take one month, or like the bamboo, which takes five years. God knows our individual nature. So he allows us to take root according to our strength so that when we are ready, our foundation will be strong. So men do not suddenly become matured saints. Sorry. <laughs> men do not suddenly become matured saints. So Luha So just like the saying says, to reach the pot we must sail. Sometimes with the wind and sometimes against the wind. But we must sail and not drift, which is aimless, and lie at anchor, which is stationary, going nowhere. Just next um, slide. Now take the slide. So, the people who are living in the world, they can see the people who are living in the world. They can see the people who are living in the world. They can see the people who are living in the world. They can see the people who are living in the world. They can see the people who are living in the world. So just like the sailing boat, if we want to reach a destination, we cannot be sitting here and wanting to reach there, isn't it? We must want to sail, right? Whether is it with the wind or against the wind, we will still want to sail. Then we will have an opportunity to reach the destination. So sometimes we say, you read the Bible, I read, I don't understand. Never mind, don't understand. Continue reading. If you say, I don't understand, then put it aside, then we will never want to read. But if we don't understand, perceive it. Just continue reading. God will give you the wisdom to, to be able to understand the Bible. So tomorrow, no good or pet a camale, any time a pete, tomorrow, pet a cama, namale, namale, so be your bema, tala, luce, but don't male, tap your pets and your mamma, dabby men, a swell, long line, a supper de cama, so piace, and nale, and I name you tomorrow, chap him up today. So the second process of growth is. Now grow already, right? Then the second process must be willing to bloom. So do the other chapter today, Yagaro, So when it bloom means it will flower, it will bear fruits. So it will no longer still be a patch of brown earth that we see. We actually can see the result coming out of the soil. So when the flowers, when they spring out, it will usually be small, right? But gradually it will grow bigger and, and thereafter will become fruits. So uh, a theme a theme of the bamboo and has a detailed and it's a lot of put a lot of beer and now some are a deep set are I always try planting different things so once I planted a uh, tomato plant and it grew and it was rich in its green leaves but it didn't flower didn't bear fruits so I decided to change. So and this time I plant chili plant. But I talked to the plant. 
And I said that you must flower, you know, and bear fruits. If not, now you will be like the fig tree in Jesus' days. Then you will be of no use. So, to mark up, you are family, you are a 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 family, you Thank God it flowered and the chili came out. But whatever I grow, I dare not eat. I dare not take the chili and eat. <laughs> so when we see flowers bloom, then it signifies a new spring, new beginning for all of us. And flowers bring joy and it is... It is very beautiful for the for the desperate, the despondent, and fruits will also take away the hunger of the poor. So the people who are poor in the Kama solution, they have one meal to eat. Oh, this is it. A young lapar, two young girls, sat down like that to eat. Solution, one day, oh, they have oh, low low blood pressure, six and a half pieces per day. So that's why uh, when we visit the sick, uh, we always bring flowers and fruits, right? That's so how that we can be happier. So to grow and not bear fruits is like what is said in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. So ဒီမှာလို့တစ်ချက်လောက်ဖတ်စရာအောင်တော့တင်တို့ဒီကာလကြာတော်ကြောင်းဆရာအဖြစ်တို့ရောက်တင့်တော့လေဖုရားတခင
flower so nice, right? Then if you don't harvest it, then it will wither even if it is in the pot. So lo le ta ma ha so lo shin ta si ne ma shai tai mu so lo shin yin di ma pa u pa ma pya ta ye ta kwa ban lu ba ta ne ta cha tu ha chao tui bi yo pya si ga ma pya de So if the farmer toils the paddy field in the spring waiting for harvest in autumn and if it is not harvested winter will come then the harvest will be destroyed this body gun re kha ma sai pyo pi yo di sao u ja di ma po no tu ru ha shit te ya ra phit de me jit te mu so lo shin sao wen la lo shin yin sa ba de akong phit si ma phit de so the ultimate purpose for the farmer in the planting of the seed is for the harvest so lo le ta ma atwa tu ye yi yue ja di ka a chak ka lo di myo se ko sai pyo chin ha a chin tan yin jit te mu phit de So the ultimate purpose for our Creator to save us is for us not to just sit and enjoy, right? Is for us to be a blessing to many others who are still lost. The time is when we pass in it, shine hale. Do ye tomorrow to see you as a hassle? The time is time to be a bubble that I go. Be a way to be a mahal bene. A child to me to come to be a blessing. So when we are fully employed in the work of the Lord, then it will be fully fitted for the Master's use. Tomorrow, Hale, the key is let our heart give it. Pure so pure, thank you. Oh, can you resolution? The key is a tone. Uh, pure what a tone? Thank you. Oh, like can I am upset? So are we? Willing to be a vessel for the Lord to be used by Him mightily, so that His kingdom will be glorified. That time, Lord, just now, just now, today, I see how so Lord, she is. Pray to Him, a tongue pure, open, get to do it. Nothing is no matter. Give it, just now, so a tongue can be pure. And if we do not go on, we will go off. As she goes, some of the Lord, she is not now. My best friend, can I be there? But if we want to take a step towards God, God will take a step towards us. Tomorrow, how Piat can she go? Let's shout to us. So Piat can I let tomorrow she go shout to us today? So in Christian life, we cannot stand still. That's why we pray and that time at the near end, my ship be on the low be able. So like in Ephesians chapter four verse twelve, God prepares His people for works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up. So apa kan ji le sanne ma so yin pyo tha de phaya ta khin ha so lo shin yin tu ye atin do atwa ko alok sao me lu ati ti ko pyin sin tha de tin do ko ti sa phu yan phit de So when we put our trust and our hope in the power of God the word of God which contains the power of our spiritual lives we will grow when we are being planted so ro chan no chma ro ha no ko pat tor he ma sai tha de so lo shi yi yo a phya ta khin ko sa chin a phit ji thwa la ma phit de the word of god will help us to grow the word of god will cause us to be born again and it is the word of god who has got living power filled with the spirit living life so ro phya ta khin yin no ko pat to ha so lo shi yin chan no chma ro ko ji thwa se ya phit de phya ta khin yin no ko pat to ha so yin chan no chma ro ko atat shin se ya phit de phya ta khin yin no ko pat to ha so lo shi tat shin no wu yin no ye tak ko ne phit se ya phit de so so just now i saw that you have evangelical program god gives the increase we are simply partners of god you know we are the seed throwers we are the watering partners But we have to be patient for the seed to be germinated. So the evangelist ne patta biyo chano chmaru ha solo seye miyo se guje re tu de pite ji thwa se re tu ha phayat kim pite tu chao melo se she ya ma pite. Of course, there are days when nothing would happen, but we just have got to wait. God will perfect the growth. The card li cha lo seye ji thwa la re. อ่าตัดเตงกูไม่เนี่ยอ่ะดาบิเมเลพยาตะเคียนอ่ะโทอย่ากูลุกซองไปอ่ะเปี้ยซองเสียมาผิดเด้อ
to get the fire going. No spark, no fire, right? So we need a spark. So be that spark. It only takes a germination, takes the sprout to grow, to flower, to bear fruits for the kingdom of God. So the tip. So you can see it only takes a spark for the fire to keep going. And when the fire grows, all those people around the fire will be warm, right? So And that's exactly what God's love is. And when we experience it, we do not want to just keep it. You cannot just keep the warmth for yourself, isn't it? You want to share the warmth with many others. So pass it on. And therefore, you know, I wish for you, my friend, this happiness that I found in Christ, this happiness that you found in Christ, do not just keep it in you, but to spread it, to shout it from the mountaintop for the world to know. Because when God's love comes to us and we keep it, then we are just keeping blessing to ourselves. Then what about those who are still lost out in the world? And in the very first place, if there is none who have prayed for us, for our soul, would we have come into the kingdom? So tomorrow, Amen. So pass it on. Be a blessing to others. So let us just present ourselves to God. Shall we all stand? Let us have a greater desire to grow in our spirit. Let us have a greater desire to have spiritual maturity. Let us not just wanting to be babies and cannot do anything for the Lord. But let us allow the seed of God that had planted in us to grow. How long doesn't matter. What matters is our desire to grow. And let us bloom, bloom into great flowers. Let us bloom into beautiful fruits. Let us be the salt and the light and let others to see the love of Jesus in and through us. And desire in our hearts to allow God to bless us in our blooming so that we can be a blessing to others. And let us be willing to let the Lord harvest us 
so that we can be used in his ministry, we can be used in his kingdom, we can be used to win souls for him, for his glory. So, so as the worship team comes, worship team and minister to us with this song to make a difference. And if you desire in your heart that you do not want to be just a standstill Christian, you want to grow, you want to bloom, and you want to be harvested for the Lord, you want to be part of of the journey in the Lord's kingdom. Then you come, meet Jesus face to face. Ask him for that strength, for the wisdom, for the direction, so that you can be a blessing to many others, to your family, to your loved ones, to your friends, to all those lost souls who are still at the boundary so that one day when you see Jesus face to face up there he will say you are a good and faithful servant Amen. ရှိတော့လားနိုင်ပါတယ်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်မတို့ဟာဆက်လက်ပြောဖြားတခင်ကျွန်တော်ကျွန်မတို့ရဲ့အသက်သာအားဖြင